Hey, Sean McGough here. That yeah, guy says he talks to heaven and hell. Why do I believe that? Because I know it's true. Anyway, I don't like neither one of them. They piss me the hell off. I'm time down. I got my teeth falling out. Don't ask me why. Well, yeah, I went to the registry trying to redo my license. I went to, I think, towed my car. I was out busking a while back. Got my car towed. It's my fault. I parked a couple minutes before you could park in the spot. I thought it was 10 o'clock. It turned out to be 11 o'clock. I parked five, 10 minutes before 11. Bam, they got my car. I made 30 bucks singing, and it cost me 200 bucks to get my car out. So I made, uh, I lost $170. That's how great of a singer I am. Anyway, my buddy says, hey, you should give it up. I said, well, at least I made 30 bucks, right? It would have cost me 200 and He says, you're always trying to find the bright side. I said, I want to nuke you, you prick. Anyway, that ain't where I was going with this. You know, I'm in the middle of a divorce. I, my wife pissed me off. Like, she says, well, you got to get out. You got to go somewhere. What are you going to do? Blah, blah, blah. So what the fuck do you care? What do you care? She cares. I don't know why she cares. I got a stupid pirate face. She did, like six grand later, I'm getting a new tooth. Why? As we save six grand, that goes to my house. I want to get a little camper thingy and put my name on the side. Maybe I go sing and tell people stupid stories. And God says I can influence people, but I don't think so. I think people are assholes, and I want to nuke them all. That's just what I want to do. And I just forgot everything I already just said, and that's not the point of this. Where was I going with this? It was about politics. I like politics. I don't like God so much. He pisses me off. So it's that kid. He's awful preaching that little fella. <laughs> Shut up, kid. Anyway, oh yeah, I know what it was. The devil's a little pissed off at me because nobody's ever told God to go fuck himself when he offers to be reborn. I blew my whole life up. I committed suicide. I fucking hate all of you. And I just, when I'm happy like I am right now, I want to climb to the top of this fucking building, step off, and see if God gives me wings on the way down. But the devil says he ain't going to do that. What you going to do? Well, he showed me what would happen if I did it. Though. Ah, that's a long story. But I would end it up draft. Bang, bang, boom. I go off the building. I'm paralyzed for life. I got to cease and desist. Do not resuscitate order. But my fucking wife, because I pissed her off so much and she loves me so much, she sees that I can still hear and see things and she keeps me alive. That fucking bitch. And all I hear, just like my mother, how she used to talk to my father and the poor prick, even after death, he could still hear her. Oh, I'd be alive for another 10 fucking years before my asshole friend Woody pulls the plug or pretends he trips or something stupid like that. Nobody can pull the fucking plug when you're supposed to. I ain't never had that fucking problem. I pulled the plug of my mother. I pulled the plug of my uncle. The most fucking things I love the most in this world. And then I pulled the plug of myself, you cocksuckers. The whole fucking world of yours. I'm a walking suicide waiting to happen. I pray to God every fucking time I go to sleep. Make this the time. Do not wake me up, you mother. And I don't say that because it hurts my brain. And then I yell at the devil if he won't take me. You better damn do it. That scares the shit out of him because he says nobody who's been reborn had a chance to redo everything again has ever told God to go fuck himself. I said, well, I ain't like nobody else. Take me now, you cocksuckers. Nuke this whole fucking world up, fix it. And get these cocksuckers to listen to a normal. He says, I'm going to nuke them all. He's saying what I want to say, but I can't do it without being so fucking angry. I want to torch the world and stand up for Jesus. I just saw a kid the other day. Big motherfucker. They tried to touch his shit like they touched mine. He didn't have to chase them down. He just said, I don't think you want to do that. Well, I chase you down. Fuck you. I'd rather beat your ass. He's not a violent man. I am. That's why I told the kid, I can't do it. I can't. I can get a thousand people to follow me, all right? And then I'm going to rip some shit apart and break some fucking shit. I don't want to do that. My wife will get upset, even if the cunt ain't giving me any. Ah, oh, that's not good. Fuck a red light. Ah! That means I'm supposed to calm down. That's what the devil says. You got to not listen to that fucking guy. He lies a lot, but sometimes he's high. Uh, don't do that with him neither. He's like, <laughs> yeah, I'll make them come to me. Yeah, Bernie Massachusetts. All you motherfuckers go to him anyway, voting Democrat. What do you know? Just listen to Trump's newest campaign speech. I just heard it. All it is is Biden talking. <laughs> Three words for America. <laughs> anyway, God bless you, world. My name's Sean McGuff. I'm going to make this five minutes. I'm still trying to save your asses. The devil says nobody's ever been reborn and said, fuck you. Well, that's me. I don't know. Maybe I'm a little different that way. Get Thomas Sowell into everybody's brains. That's what W-E-L-L. -L. Check out this kid anomaly about the first fucking amendment and the second amendment. And what the fuck calling everybody out who should be called out?
And damn it, check out the Trinity, the kid's eye, the old man, it makes you get naked and want to go preach about him all over the place. Come the fuck down and check out Bryson Gray, misunderstood. And then work yourself from there. Tom McDonald's pretty cool, too. And you'll get a hold of yourself. Me, I got the 66 books of the Bible and a whole bunch of other shit that you ain't supposed to be reading. But the devil thinks it's pretty fun the way I do it. Don't walk with the devil because you can't take back what he actually shows you. And that's what makes me put a gun in the mouth and pull the trigger twice and pretend they know the Clintons. <laughs> Tell me they ain't demons. Anyway, God bless you, world. I don't plan on making no videos today. Or maybe I will. I don't know. They'll tell me. Go ahead. Thank you. Have a great day. I like when people do that. They tell you to go when you go, and then they give you a dirty look. And then when you say thank you, they tell you F you, and then I lose my mind. All three of us lose our minds. But you know what? I'm in the bike lane because I'm identifying as a 10-speed, so fuck them. And since there's four of us here, the three guys in my head and myself, well, and then you got the kid, old man, the devil. Ah, we got a whole bunch of shit going on. So anyway, I'm going to hang around tonight. Maybe I'll go to the casino. I did good last night, but I gave them some money back. But that's I right. I had a good time singing and dancing up in Hampton Beach. So maybe I'll go back again. Them people are very, very nice. And, uh, anyway, you have a great day, Well, My name is Sean McGough. The devil says I'm a court jester for the king. I just say I'm an asshole for the world. And I fit in that way. The world won't listen. We all got opinions, that's what they say. Maybe you'll listen in 126, 70, 90, maybe even a little better. And in a few years, ain't gonna make my day. I'd rather nuke you all and say hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get that reference. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> God bless you, world. My name's Sean McGuff. If you can check out Dr. Thomas Sowell, S O W E L L, and the Trinity. Take your pick. It's worth a buck to you. I need to get monetized because my wife won't even let me use my own retirement money to buy a house to, that rolls around so I can go see the world and talk to them about nothing. Seinfeld did it. I just want to do it in person because some people say I'm much better in person than I'm in in a video. I have no idea what that means because if I'm in person and it's on the video, they tend to say the same thing. You're on here and you're on there and then you're there and you're there. I don't get it, but that's what one guy told me after I got kicked out for singing with chickens. That's a whole different story. But the cop thought it was funny, but he still had to write me up. Don't ever sing for chickens with the mean, nasty ladies. Don't do that. Massachusetts sucks. Lots of devil people here. Can't even sing for chicken and bunnies. <laughs> Go figure. Anyway, is that was I going with this kid? Oh, yeah. Help me save the world. My name's Sean McGough. I think it's worth a buck if you at least give it a shot. I don't know if we'll change it completely. I know we can change it for about 100 years or so. That kind of pisses me off. I hate doing shit twice. I'm, I'm lazy. I want to do it. I to get, get it done and do it. Yeah. And it would fuck off. <laughs> That's the way I like it. That's a problem. That's the way I live my marriage, too. <laughs> Caught up to you. I'm a camper. I can only roll the dice so many times. And you crap out. got to remember to take some back. <laughs> I never remember. Go big or go home. You know, that never works, right? <laughs> anyway, let someone else's steam rolling you. Then it don't matter. Why don't you don't care about it? Shit happens good. Sometimes. A lot of times you step off the building. Go see a shrink. Don't talk to me. <laughs> God bless. That's the end of this one.